What's up guys, it's Katie. I am back as promised with the 2018 fashion trends video. This is where I show you how I like to style some of the biggest trends we saw going down the runway shows at the spring summer 18 collections. I am all about embracing new trends that you personally enjoy while still mixing in some items that are more familiar. So that's exactly what you can expect in today's lookbook. And here's hoping that it gives you some inspiration for the new year. So for every outfit, I've tried to combine two key trends. And to kick us off, we have some sheer fabric and a bit of ruching. When it comes to incorporating the sheer trend, I always find it easiest to style in the form of a top for some reason. And it's even easier if it has some sort of pattern, just like this floral one here. It almost acts as extra coverage, even though it is just as see-through as a plain one. If you look a little closer, you might be able to notice the ruching along the sides of the sleeves. I think this is a really nice and subtle way of including this trend rather than opting for a floor length dress which is ruched from top to tail. I'm hoping for a continuation on the white shoe trend so with my wishful thinking I slipped into these little block heels to match up with my white bralette I used for some extra coverage. Lastly I threw on just a classic pair of light denim to keep the look more casual. Next up, we have a two for one 80s deal with the complementary trends of polka dots and puff sleeves. You may have already seen me styling this top before with just a basic pair of black trousers. So today I wanted to switch things up a little bit and decided it would be the perfect layering piece to team up with my little black dress. A classic item I'm sure a lot of you already have and if you're looking at spicing it up, this might be the right option for you. I am well aware that the 80s fashion scene isn't for everyone. They have a lot of flamboyant trends to choose from, but I'm enjoying just picking and choosing some of my favorites. This one I find particularly easy because you can team it with an all black ensemble, making it so much more wearable. I'm also a creature of habit, so throwing on one of 2017's biggest fashion trends, the little black beret, definitely helps. Moving on to one of the hottest color trends for the year, which is of course lavender and lilac as well as straw accessories, which we've spotted for the last few seasons, but still seem to be going strong. As most of you already know, I was a huge supporter of the IT color for 2017, red. So it was fun to try out a new shade today. I actually had nothing in the color purple, so I went to the op shop and luckily found this scarf. I am still loving tying up my scarves as tops, especially since it is spring summer season here in Australia and it is boiling hot. I think that teaming it with these white trousers and gold heels make for the perfect summer evening out, but you could totally switch it up for white shorts and sandals if you needed something a little bit more casual. On the flip side of that, for the fourth outfit, I wanted to feature some good old fashioned plaid and the classic trench coat. For those of you experiencing the cooler weather at the moment, of course, if that was the case, you'd want to be rugged up even more than I am here, but that's an easy fix with some turtlenecks and tights laid underneath and a nice big cozy scarf as well. Keep in mind that these two trends can easily be separated. You could opt for a nice pair of plaid trousers or a classic camel trench. But you know me, I wanted to roll it all in one once again with this amazing coat from Dolls Kill. The great thing about this one is that you can style it so many different ways. Today, I wanted to keep it really casual and a nice relaxed vibe. Definitely gives me like model of Judy vibes as well, which is something I love come the winter time. Those were just four ways that I like to style some of the biggest fashion trends you can expect to see for 2018. Please let me know which ones were your favorite. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future fashion related content. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah.